when it came for me to start writing CC, I was actually really concerned because um, all we've seen of her really so far in the series um, has perhaps not been very positive um, and certainly her relationship with Star uh, was a great worry for um, the rest of the sisters. Um, so when it came to that last chapter in The Shadow Sister when I was introducing Cece, um, I sort of sought for inspiration um, and then suddenly this wonderful, vulnerable, sensitive human being started to emerge um, and I really began on Cece's journey. And I think Cece is in the state of mind where she just wants to get away and she doesn't care where it is. And obviously she's heard about this connection through Parsalt to Australia, a country she's never been to. So she literally just gets on a plane and that's where she's heading for. But I didn't want her to go straight there because a bit like me, uh, she was nervous of Australia because of the creepy crawling situation, basically. So I decided to stop her journey in Thailand uh, so that she could gather up the courage to actually take the next step and move on to discover her past. I sent her to my favourite beach in the world in Krabi, uh, which is where she meets the mysterious Ace before she finally travels on to Australia. The country was a complete revelation for me as much as it was for Cece and I fell completely in love with the Never Never and my favourite moment of the entire trip was going out to Hermansburg Mission to see the birthplace of Australia's most famous Aboriginal painter Albert Namajira. The biggest surprise of all was the fact that the Never Never uh, is almost the centre of the mythology for the Seven Sisters because all of the girls are like goddesses in Aboriginal culture so there were paintings and depictions of them everywhere I went. I have to say that writing Cece was a real revelation for me. Um, I ended up totally captivated by her truthfulness, honesty, um, you know, and sheer determination to move on. Um, but just like Cece, I had to move on too at the end of her story. And so I moved on to Tiggy uh, and sat down to write the first part of her story. And uh, all I can say is that the end of the Pearl Sister is pretty dramatic stuff.